sophisticated, hot chocolate Corey Williams in the house back here in the sawmill. Hasn't been around in a long time. I believe he's running around with Ashley Hudson the last time I saw him. Absolutely, one half of one of the greatest tag teams to ever hit this area. Ashley Hudson, hot chocolate Corey Williams. It's the new style where you can see hot chocolate has made its way back to the sawmill, baby. along with Hot Rod Biggs and Hot Rod, we are watching Hot Chocolate Corey Williams back in the sawmill. He hasn't been here in years. And speaking of another returning superstar, Big Jason Nation is his opponent. Absolutely what a way to start things off right here tonight with the return of two phenomenal athletes. Jason Nation, Hot Chocolate Corey Williams. This one is going to be hot. Let me tell you, I haven't seen Corey Williams in years. The last time I saw him here, he was a little bit heavier. I think he's gotten in shape for this match. What a surprise when he came down the aisle of the sawmill. They were stunned. They were stunned. I was stunned, Jack Johnson. The last person I expected to see was Corey Williams, and now he's trying to start off right off the bat playing mind games with Jason Nation. Big Jason Nation hasn't been around for a while. He's kept in shape, though. You know, Jack Johnson, I'm going to give you a little history lesson. You know, about 18 years ago, in a little town right outside of Nashville called Dixon, Tennessee, this gentleman had his very first professional matchup against none other than Hot Chocolate Corey Williams. Jason Nation was successful then. The question is, can he be successful tonight? Packed house here at the sawmill as we see Hot Chocolate coming off the road. So, shoulder tackling, he goes down. How many times do you see that? He ran into a living, heating, and cooling unit in Jason Nation. Jason, Jason I, trying to extend a hand to Corey Williams. I think Corey Williams was more shocked than anything coming off the ropes with the momentum, and Jason didn't budge a single inch. Hot Chocolate warming it up here in the sawmill. Now hooking up colored elbow quickly to the side headlock. There's the professional wrestling skills coming in. You see the tight side headlock right there. Corey Williams, you see him utilizing his weight advantage. He's using a lower center of gravity to maintain control of Jason Nation right now. Whips into the ropes. Again, hot chocolate goes down. Wow. Hot chocolate outside the ring now. That's twice. He has tried to shoulder tackle Jason Nation. That's two times, Jack Johnson. When is the last time that you've seen a man with the talent of athlete the caliber of Hot Chocolate Corey Williams come off the ropes with momentum and hit a stone wall and get taken to the mat, Jack? You just don't see it. You do not see it. Now, Corey Williams calling for a, looks like a test of strength right now. Jason Nation looks around as if to say, should I do it? His hot chocolate Corey Williams is, he worked this test. Looks like they're going to go knuckle lock up top. Hot chocolate already feels it. Hot chocolate Corey Williams going for a test of strength. You're right, he already feels it. Now they're locked in. We're going to see if Jason Nation is going to be able to gain control. Hot chocolate oh. using that wrestling skill to go back in. Beautiful maneuver to the top wrist lock and takes Jason Nation down to the mat, baby. If he can't do it coming off the ropes, he's going to do it the way he just does it. I think Hot Chocolate Corey Williams has 
worked on his game since he's been here last. You didn't see him do a lot of moves like that, getting out of a Greco note Roman top knuckle lock there. And now Jason Nation popping back up Barney Arms. Got him in the hammer lock. Pretty phenomenal maneuver there by Jason Nation, baby. These two men know that the marquee says wrestling. And this is where you see it. Right here at NWA SAW Southern All-Star Wrestling. As he takes Jason Nation down into her arm bar with the beautiful textbook fireman's carry. What a hot match we've got here. Starting things off tonight. The BMIC referee calling it Jason Nation trying to get out of this arm bar by Corey Williams. Where's he been all these years? I've heard he's been up in the Kentucky area, which is not, you know, that far from Millersville. And all of a sudden, hot chocolate flows through the sawmill. Jason Nation playing it smart there, utilizing the bottom rope to his advantage to make the referee break the hole. Hot chocolate again, looking over Jason Nation. Hot chocolate, always a talker, Hot Rod. Always a talker. Oh! oh and a slapper. Now oh. we're going to see. We want some action, baby. Now I think we're going to see some action. Jason Nation has a little hot chocolate and slapjacks for breakfast. That's got Jason Nation going. He's got chocolate over the corner, whips him to the corner, and here he comes, small head of stand splash. And hot chocolate. Nation makes the cover. One, two, no. That woke Jason Nation up. Oh, but he got a face full of turnbuckles. That is one way to get a man off of you. Now he's utilizing the bottom rope in a different way as he has Jason Nation's throat. Straight right across that. I know, baby. I know you tried to. You heard that, right? See? You're talking to the wrestlers in the ring. Yeah, that's because these guys are my friends, baby. I didn't just come in here yesterday. I'm not so jabroni like you, Jake Johnson. I've been in the square circle. I wouldn't talk to the wrestlers in the ring, though, no matter who I was. They're working. Oh! Yeah, baby. Hot chocolate stomping a mud hole. And Jason Nation over in the corner. Nation trying to get back up to a vertical base and slowly does this cat. But Hot Chocolate, he's taking long distance dedications now. Hey, baby, whatever it takes to get the man down, that is what Hot Chocolate Corey Williams is going to do. Present company not excluded, baby. Hot Chocolate took some time to get going. We thought it was a new Hot Chocolate. He started out kind of nice, Hot Rod, and he's over there in the corner when you were actually talking to him while he was in the ring. He said he tried being nice. It didn't work. Well, you know, nice guys sometimes finish last in professional wrestling. You know what I mean? It happens. Of course it happens, baby. This is not a sport for sissies, baby. This is a man's sport. You notice I didn't use the word entertainment. I noticed it. I said sport. Nation whipped over to the corner. Oh, gets the big boot up. Right in Hot Chocolate's face. Oh, drop kick and Chocolate goes down. Nation, not done with him yet. Fires him off the ropes and, oh, both men go down. Nation on top. He is pounding away at the noggin of Hot Chocolate. He is getting some stiff punches in right there indeed. Corey Williams had better get himself oh. on the offensive quick, and he does. That's not a nice move. <laughs> what are you talking about? That was the most impressive maneuver we've seen thus far in this matchup. Mm. Hot chocolate. Slowly. Taking his time, looking at Jason Nation, trying to get up and now. If he lands this snake breaker, baby. Oh, my. Chocolate makes the cover, hooks the leg. One, two, three, that's it. Your winner, Hot Chocolate. I told you, baby. He hits a neck breaker. He's done. Hot Chocolate, Corey Williams. A successful surprise return to the sawmill. You heard a ring announcer, Mr. G, call it right there. Your winner, Corey Williams. 
Hot chocolate flows again all through the sawmill, Hot Rod Biggs. What a surprise and what a win here in Millersville. As we said before, baby, the marquee says professional wrestling, and that is just what you've seen. One of the greatest expositions of professional wrestling right here in the sawmill, Jack. We'll be right back with more. After this, you're watching wrestling that's the cut above the rest. You're watching Saw. make you people despise me. And I'm not gonna apologize, not one I owe it for. But me coming back here tonight, it wasn't for me. And excuse my language, but it damn sure wasn't for none of y'all. I came back here tonight for one reason, and one reason only, to pay my respects to a man inside the ring who not always got along and agreed. Outside the ring, we may not always got along and agreed. But man to man, we respect each other. TJ, I love you, man. Yeah. yeah. Great tribute by Hot Chocolate, Corey Williams. You know, he's a class act like you, Hot Rod, sometimes. Sometimes. That's all it takes, baby. Very moving words. We love you, TJ.